Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash. Today we're going to be talking about an interesting theory slash idea I have. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, I have a bunch of ideas for videos, and this is one of them, and I thought this would be interesting to bring up, and... So, the topic of shows ending is something that is very topical right now, considering that Supergirl is ending this year, and Black Lightning is ending this year. And so, the CW is looking towards a new era of CW shows, where they are introducing shows like Superman and Lois, but I feel like the next step is, like, Wonder Girl. I think that is the next step forward for them. And so, shows like The Flash will eventually end, but when will they end? We're going to break that down, and we're going to break down if The Flash ends, and when it does, are we going to see a spin-off from it? It seems very likely that we are, and we're going to answer that in today's video, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So, when will The Flash end? That is the first question we have to ask. Okay, so... Recently, Grant has mentioned, well, you know, a couple of months ago, like way back before the summer, Grant mentioned that there was already talks for them doing season 8, 9, and onwards. So that was right at the start of, you know, all the shutdowns and like the pandemic starting properly and hitting in America and such. And so Grant mentioned, yes, they're already in talks. And now where we are today in February, well, it was actually in January, Season 8 has been confirmed by the CW, so The Flash Season 8 is happening next year. So this means in October we should be getting the season premiere of Season 8 of The Flash, because the CW is trying to head back to their normal schedule, so they're going to finish filming in like May, then they're going to go on a bit of a break, and then they will come back and they will film for the new season pretty soon afterwards, so, you know, normal summertime shooting schedule it seems is very likely and is definitely on the books if they want to hit that October release date for season 8, so obviously things are different right now, however, with them confirming season 8, it seems very likely that Grant probably signed on for season 9 as well. I don't think they would have just like accepted like a, you know, come on for one season and then we'll renegotiate your contract. I think they've negotiated something and I think season 10 is a total possibility if Grant wants to do it and they want to continue, the show will continue. And so I'm not actually sure as to when it will end and there is a definite possibility that it's going to go season 10 and onwards. However, it's a bit unprecedented because a DC TV show hasn't gone on that long. I'm talking about the Arrowverse shows here. So, obviously, we think season 10, oh, that might be pushing it or something. However, it's all dependent on the actual star of the show. And the CW isn't just going to throw away the Flash because it is the CW's most profitable show. And so we're going to have to wait and see as to when they're going to end the show and when Grant is going to be like, yeah, I'm going to hang up my cow and my suit and I'm going to move on from this. But for now, it doesn't seem like any time in the near future The Flash is going to be ending. But when it does end, and it will end at some point, it's not going to go on forever, sadly. However, it seems like they will do a spin-off show. And why are they going to do a spin-off show? It's because The Flash is the most profitable show and most watched show on the CW, and if they do a Flash spin-off, it's very, very likely that those viewers are going to come back and watch that show, that new show, whatever it turns out to be. So we're going to get into theories as to what that Flash spin-off show could eventually be. And so I don't think whilst the Flash is on, they're going to do any spin-offs. I think they're going to wait until it ends and then they're going to, you know, plan something that is in the Flash family kind of legacy. And so they're going to want to keep that audience around. They're not going to want to get rid of them because you have to remember the Arrowverse shows. Yes, they are part of the same universe but they don't necessarily have exactly the same demographics. Supergirl's demographic changes to Batwoman's demographic, to The Flash, to Superman Lois, while we don't know what they're going to be like. So if the shows actually had every single person watching every single week, they wouldn't even need to bother with like a Flash spin-off. They could just create any new show and it will work. However, that's not how things work and that's not how TV works. So they're going to want to do this. All right, so if we get that spin-off, what could it be you may ask and so these are my ideas and theories i've got six ideas and my first one is and i'm not doing this in any kind of ranked order they're just like a bunch of ideas that could totally work and my number one pick is nora west allen slash xs they could do a spin-off for her in the future i'm not talking about present day i'm talking about a future flash show that could totally happen 
okay, so why could this happen? Well, we've seen Nora before, and if Jessica Parker Kennedy would be offered the main role of the show, I'm sure she would come back. And I think there is a lot to explore in The Flash's future because they've teased the future so many times so they could totally do like a Batman Beyond kind of situation where they go to the future and that's where the show is set. So I think something like that would be really interesting and it would be quite unprecedented for the CW because yes they show future timelines on Legends and on The Flash but they've never actually like properly stuck there apart from that Arrow storyline where they were just flashing forward. But I mean like a whole show set in the future with XS and then maybe you could incorporate the Legion of Superheroes because XS is a member of the Legion in the comics and that could be a way for them to actually bring in some Legion members on the other shows because we know Supergo is ending so what happens if Brainiac 5 shows up, so Brainy that is, and like Nia now or like you know mon if he ever wants to show up again so that would be an idea. Alright, so I've added another idea as well, so we've actually got seven picks, so this other idea is the original Flash. What happens if we go back and we explore the original timeline, and this original timeline doesn't necessarily have to star Grant Gustin as Barry, because that would defeat the idea of him actually leaving the show and this being a spin-off, it would just be like a Flash continuation. But what happens if we pick up in this original timeline and say a speedster has infiltrated the normal timeline? And maybe you get a few cameos from Grant here and there like once in a while, I think that would be cool. As like the original Flash wearing that Flash suit that we've seen in the past and then we finally get the answer to what's happening with Reverse Flash. Maybe you do get Reverse Flash in that show, so what happens if it was like a sort of original timeline show that was orientated around leading towards this final battle between Barry and Grant will return with Reverse Flash. So I know that's kind of crazy and that's a bit out there, but I just kind of wanted to give you a whole spectrum of ideas of some spin-offs, right? So that could happen with another speedster in the original timeline. I think that would be a good idea. And so my other theory is Bart Allen. What happens if they introduce Bart in the final season of The Flash, whenever that comes to be, whether it's season 10 or whatever, Bart Allen is introduced, we've all been theorizing like when is Bart Allen going to show up at some point on the show, and so say he does, that could be the setup for a spin-off. So you get to explore Bart Allen, Bart Allen again like XS is a future character, however in a lot of the comics he does come back in time, he meets Barry Allen his granddad, so rather than being set in the future, this stars a time traveling speedster who has come back to our present. And that's where it picks up and it is to do with our team Flash and maybe you do get cameos from like our normal cast members on the Flash right now so like Carlos or like Danielle could show up every once in a while and maybe Bart's granddad Barry Allen like I said I don't think if Grant ends the show and like Grant steps away I don't think he would be against coming back because he loves the character so much that I feel like him out of any of the cast members on all of the Arrowverse shows would totally be down to come back. And so my other idea for another spin-off show would obviously be Jay Garrick following John Wesley Shipp because he had his Flash show in the past and although I think it's a bit unlikely that John Wesley Shipp will be leading a show anytime soon, I think it's a cool idea nevertheless. Or we explore another version of Jay Garrick, like a younger version kind of like what we got in season 2, although that turned out to be Zoom, but like what happens if there's another Jay Garrick out there in the multiverse. So basically you can kind of get by my spin-off ideas, I really want another Speedster show when the Flash eventually goes away, and I think it would be a big shame if they don't actually do this. You know, whatever it turns out to be, I think there should be another Speedster show on the CW. Okay, so another idea, a Kid Flash show. Keenan Lonsdale could lead his own show. I think the main reason why Keenan left, number one, he wants to focus on his music and his other stuff that he does. However, I think if he led his own show, I think he would totally be down to come back. So what happens if there was a Kid Flash spinoff? You could keep some of the characters and introduce his own Team Flash and maybe he could be the protector of Keystone City rather than Central City, kind of like sometimes in the comics and, you know, I think Kid Flash is actually from Keystone City in the show. So that would be an interesting take and I would be totally down for that. Or you could have a Kid Flash show that follows the ginger version of Wally West. I think at some point I want to see a Kid Flash meets Kid Flash kind of battle on the Flash and maybe that could spin off, 
into its own show. Like, I want to see a Ginger Wally West face off against Keenan Lonsdale's Wally West. I really want that. I want some sort of Flash War storyline. And so, moving on to my last two picks for the spin offs Flash Family spin off. What happens if we get a Flash Family one? That would be great. So, that includes many speedsters. So, in the comics, over the years, there's been so many stories, and even in Future State, you have the Flash family. So Future State is the comic book that DC is currently running. It's a two-month event, and you got like a bunch of species, and something bad happens to them. Spoilers. But read the Flash Future State if you haven't, because we're going to be talking a bit about spoilers here. So they could include multiple species, like three or four species, and so you would have this big kind of family species. You could introduce characters like Max Mercury. I think that would be really interesting, and you could continue with speedster villains, introduce Red Death, introduce all these speedster villains that weren't introduced on The Flash. Now let's move on to my final theory, and I think this theory is one of the most likely theories, if I'm completely honest, because recently it was announced that they are doing a Yara Floor Wonder Girl CW show. That is a new character who was just introduced literally in January last month, and so, so considering that they picked up on a new character who literally wasn't created by the time they actually picked it up and they were only creating the comic book for the first time and obviously the creators had some sort of insight and maybe, you know, the Wonder Girl show got pitched to them. There is precedent for a new character maybe coming in as a new show idea. So my idea for the final theory is a new speedster show that follows the new speedster who was just introduced into the comics, the first non-binary gender fluid Flash from Future State. That is of course, and if you've read the comics you know this, Jess Chambers. And so Jess is really cool, they are really interesting, although they haven't had that much time to actually explore the character yet. I think it's a totally good idea to maybe introduce them. And I think the fact that they're doing the Yara Floor TV show kind of sets precedent for that. So what do you guys think about that? Would you like to see a Jess Chambers Flash TV show spinoff? I think I would really like that. That might be one of my favorite picks. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. I see.